Oh man, just another day in Alaska. What the heck? What's, look at this guy. Whoa. Hey. Hey, what are you guys doing here? BW Films? Are you going fishing? Yeah, you wanna come? Where you, I need to go like 20 miles that way. Can I hit your ride? Sure, we wanna watch you get mauled by a bear. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna hop in. I've been walking for 20 miles. It's from the airport. Are you fishing? That's sweary, bro. I love Alaska. It's already exposed, brother. Howdy, partner. Well, you know, it's only tradition to do the old John Lehman out of the truck since I'm here with you. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you guys go down below that video and click on that subscribe button. As you can see, I'm in the middle of nowhere right now in Alaska and I met up with old John and Sam. So John here, if you guys aren't familiar with him, he has a channel, Mindac Outdoors. You guys probably have seen these two out here. They have been fishing in Alaska all summer and having a great time. And John and Sam were nice enough to invite me out. They told me to buy a plane ticket and come out here and do some fishing with them. So that is exactly what I did. Now, I was lucky enough to come out here at the perfect time when the fish are running. It is towards the end of July right now. It's like the last week in July and the fish are running and pretty plentiful. The fishing has been great the last couple of days and it's probably only going to pick up here this week. So I timed it perfect. I'm super pumped and I just got picked up from the airport. They picked me up and we came straight up. We're about an hour and a half north of Anchorage and we are going to do some fishing today for some graylings, which I have never caught in my life, obviously, because this is the first time I've been to Alaska. So pretty much every fish I'm going to catch on this trip, I have never caught in my life. So I'm super pumped about this trip. So big shout out to these guys right here. With that said, we are gonna uh, head down there. We'll do a little more explaining, but it sounds like it's just graylings at this spot on the river. Oh, sorry, I'm just practicing for bears. So we gotta throw our waders and stuff on. We're gonna be fly fishing for these things. If you guys don't know what graylings are, I'll have John explain it to you a little bit because I am not even too familiar with these fish. I'm gonna be out here for like 10 days. We are gonna be fishing halibut on the ocean, hopefully. We're gonna be fishing reds, the graylings, just all kinds of stuff. So stay tuned for the Alaska videos this week. With that said, we're gonna gear up here, head down to the river, and we're gonna start fishing. Let's go. Buddy guy. What's up, bro? Are you gonna catch something? I'm hoping we are. Um, we drove over the river and did look a little bit dirty. But and the water is a little high, Sam. Yeah, right? it's a little high. So we're going to see what we can do today. I'm but thinking, you're a beast. I'm thinking you're going to catch a fish, though. Yeah. That's, we're going to be we're gonna fly fishing. If I catch fishing. one fish, it's a success. Okay. Also, I haven't fly fished in like five years, so this is going to be kind of brutal. You're going to have to give me some time. I believe okay. in Luke because he's a fellow flopper, so he's going to definitely catch a fish. True. You're good. What you got going on here, John? So right now, we're tying on some flies. This is my little fly collection here. We got dry flies, which basically sit on top of the water, like a top water frog. And then these are like nymphs and stuff, egg sucking leech, and that goes beneath the water. But today we're gonna try to get some top water eats. That's what we've got them on before. Uh, we got a four weight and a six weight. The four weight's a little easier to cast, so we're gonna give that to you to start. And we're tying on a uh, tiny little fly called an Adams. And basically it just replicates some type of bug that flies around here and last time we were here that bait was hot so I'm starting you out on that and I think that's gonna be the ticket for today. So these fish like a smaller bait then? Yep smaller They're bait. not very big like what's the common no, size no. like eight ten inches? Common like? si yeah common size probably is like yeah like eight to ten ish or eleven ish and then like anything over like thirteen and a half that's like a a good one you know what i'm saying so that's what we're gonna catch that's what we're hopefully gonna catch i caught a 15 last time i was here and my buddy caught Ooh. a 16 in like three quarters so almost 17. um so there are potentials for a big one but if you if you catch one today i'd be happy yeah same but just me and you i heard because sam sam's not feeling too good no, you're, but you're practicing are you yeah, showing me show us that? perfect okay i'm not gonna be that we'll good. teach you here Come, come, come hold this rod, Lucas. That's more finesse. That's all, you That's all you need to do, bro. Oh, dang, you're good at this. Oh, dang, you're good at this. Ooh. How much have you had to drink, John? <laughs> hey, bears. Hey, bears. What actually is that? Someone, like, carved that, right? Look at that thing. I haven't seen that until today. Dude, this thing is ripping. Oh, 
All right, well, me and John were just about to start fishing. I thought there was a bear on the other side of the river here, but there's a baby moose over there, so that's pretty cool. He's just staring at us, bro. Yeah, that thing does hey. not care at all that we're here. <laughs> but John cast it in just for a second, and he already had a bite. So we're gonna start fishing here, and hopefully I can catch my first grayling. Let's go. Dang, dude. So normally, we walk up the rapids and fish up there. It looks way too crazy. But right here actually looks pretty good. See how much calmer it yeah. is? Yeah. We got the main water coming in right there, but it's created like an eddy right here. Slower moving water. We're gonna try drifting some flies right here and see if we can catch some fish. I don't know how it's gonna go. Like I said, it is not usually like a freaking tsunami out here. Yeah, that is ripping like insane. Oh yeah. Well, me and John, as you can see, just made it up from way down there. It was a freaking far walk, but I'm excited. We're gonna start casting where we can, where like John said, it's a little bit calmer in front of us. And let's see if we can catch a couple of fish. I thought he'd put a little. Good now. All right, so pretty much what John did, my fly kept sinking and you kind of want to sit on the top of the water for these fish to bite it. So you put this little juice on there and it's, it's called gink. It's supposed to make it like kind of repel the water and sit on top of the water better. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I saw yeah, that. One yeah. I don't know why you're Got it. Oh. oh. Okay, so next time loop, next time loop, keep your rod tip low like this. Stick down. Yeah. That was so close. It was on. They're not far, bro. All right, well, I just walked away to put my batteries away cuz it started raining pretty hard here. Oh. Well, that was him. Well, John caught one. The one I had on was actually big, though. It was though. bigger than that. This one was yeah. a lot smaller. Yeah. But the rain is picking up, so I'm about to get soaked. And I'm going to try to catch one. I thought... Bro, go, dude. That, took, that was so much work for that though. It was. That was so much work. That right there is an Arctic grayling. Super cool. Hook popped out. It ate it when the dry fly got submerged. But congrats, brother. You we did it. We worked for that. You we did worked it. for that, dude. Oh, we're going to get some Let's pictures. Go. And then uh, we're going to get them back. But congrats, buddy. Nice. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh! Oh! Cool. That was a good one, dude. That was a good one. But I think I'm holding my rod too high, maybe. Yeah, yeah. You just, if you kept the rod tip a little bit lower, because like the hook stays lower and it, it keeps the fish yeah. from jumping. It's hard dude. to like figure this out. That was a good fish, bro. Dude. Oh, here we go. Here we go, John. Another smaller one. Lucas cracked. I just missed a giant, but. Okay, bye. Oh! 
Oh, oh, John, 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 John. Not huge, but that's the best one yet. Yeah, dude. That's, that's the best one, one so far. GG's, dude. Let's go, baby. Look at that, right? Look at that hook placement. Yeah, dude, that's perfect. That's literally perfect. We were just about to leave, too. Again. Like, every every time we're just about to leave, yep. we catch a fish. Beautiful or get fish, hit. though. There's that dorsal right there. So yeah. cool fish. They're super cool. All right, well, this is like my third gray wing. Not very big. We've definitely missed the biggest ones, but we're going to get this one back in the water. Not a bad day. The sun came out, it stopped raining, and it's not too bad. We caught a couple more. John missed the huge one. That kind of sucks. We were trying to catch that one. We were just about to leave. John said five more casts, and I was literally on my last cast, and we caught one more. All right, you guys. Well, unfortunately, after the last fish clip that you guys saw, something happened with the wire going to the microphone, and I completely lost the audio until we got back to the truck. We finished up fishing. We didn't catch any more fish from the last one that you guys saw. So we decided to head back to the house. Uh, it was about a four hour drive and we made our way back. So you guys are going to get to see some of the scenery and then you guys are going to get a cabin tour of the place we're staying at and we will wrap this video up. Buddy, where did you take us to? So Lucas said, hey, I need to update my Visco and my grinder profile pic. So I said, hey. I did say that. Yeah, this is the best place to update your photo right here. Dude, John just brought us to like a beautiful spot here check this out <laughs> chill oh, Bye. Well. Have a good time. that was an a1 spot brother <laughs> yeah it's kind of it's kind of chilly here i came from minnesota and it was like 80 something degrees when I left, brutally hot, sweating, and it's not, I wouldn't even say it's chilly. The weather is super nice here. It is beautiful here. As you guys saw, the scenery is absolutely amazing. We have about a 45 minute drive left, maybe about an hour, and then we are going to be at John's place where I'm going to be staying, and we're gonna do a little tour of the cabin here, and then we'll wrap this video up. And then after this is gonna be a bunch more fishing. But with that said, we're gonna head to the cabin and we will see you all there. Ugh. That was a long car ride. I feel like that was longer than four hours, John. No, it was oh. about four hours. Okay, it just felt really long to me and Sam. But we have arrived to John's cribbo here, and we're about to give you a little tour. We're gonna have John do the tour though, because he is familiar with the little shack here. So let's get into this. So this is the Alaskan shack. This is our porch. We got two e-bikes over here. One of them's broken. That's kind of dragging it on the Alaskan highway for about 10 miles. <laughs> Didn't someone flag you? Yeah, down a construction like, worker dude, flagged me down. It's like, hey, you're dragging a bike. I just look back. I'm just like, oh, rip. That sounds like something you would do. Oh, it's terrible. But we just use it. We literally haven't even used the bike since we've been here. It just serves as a purpose to hang our waders. Well, sometime in this video, we're going to have electric bike races, me and okay. you. We should do that. We're going to get used out of this. But we got all the boots here. Got some trash here. No garbage to attract yep. the bears, right? This is it. Yep. Garbage to the bears. Uh, poverty Traeger. No, that thing's actually nice. No, That's it, how you cook some food on it. It's that actually pretty gas. Bunch of rods. Bunch of rods. Step inside here. Actually, this is a brand new door because we just, like, literally this door was not like this this morning. It was, fall, it fell off. So the guy oh. fixed it. Oh, good job. Breaking yeah. everything in the house yeah. already. Oh, hey, Lindsay. Hello. This is the housewife. Yeah, I had to bring Miss Mindak uh, to this uh, lovely place. Yep, John's wifed up, but she cooks us delicious food, so it's okay. True. And she fishes with you and outfishes you. That's embarrassing. We won't talk about that. This is your bed, brother. Dang, dude. The old cot grinder, baby. Ooh, bro. I'm not going to lay in this. I'm disgusting right now. What? Nice couch. Sam's sleeping here. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to sleep Sam. in this room. This is Sam's room. It's probably kind of, yeah, like Sam. Wow. Sam thing. is just, that. that's gross. I don't have a housewife to clean, bro. No. <laughs> Look like milk toast. Uh, this is my and Lindsay's room. Ooh, this is immaculate, but yeah, th that's because of Lindsay, I'm guessing. It's true. So, it's true. Earlier this morning, it was a lot worse, but she had to clean up for you. Ooh, she why didn't you do that? Because I was out busy hanging out with you. Buddy guy, he was napping in the truck. You guys saw that. Bathroom? Little bathroom here, so you got the old shower, so you don't have to be super stinky. Ooh, dang, bro, we're looking good. Ooh. Hey, bear. Yo, this is, this is <laughs> a bear in there. 
Then washer we got dryer washer dryer, kitchen. super clutch. And then we got the old kitchen. A lot of catch and cooks have been done here. Uh, we literally clean all our fish here. We vacuum seal it, throw it in the freezer, bring it to more storage uh, somewhere else. Hang on, hang on. What is this? Oh, this is the goodness, dude. That's rice being made right now, brother. That's the rice cooker. That's had our favorite to be. thing. Had to bring it, dude. Absolutely had to bring it. But check this out, Luke. You're gonna like this. This is just some of the fish that we were trying to freeze right now. Got some halibut, which we'll I haven't tried try halibut, yet. dude. Unreal, unreal. And then this is what we're prime. Oh, not that one. This is primarily what we're gonna be targeting uh, this week while you're here. This is the old red salmon. AKA Look how gas sockeye, that looks. Right? AKA sockeye. Really good eating. Oh, 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 okay. oh. It's That's still the end cold. Of the house tour. Yep, end of the house tour. All right, so that is the house tour. Shout out to John for that. I'm going to unpack. It is like 11 o'clock here and it's still broad daylight. I have to get used to the old time change here. It's a little bit different from where I just came from. We have something awesome lined up for tomorrow. We are going to be doing some salmon fishing and getting into the good fishing. The stuff we did today was just kind of a start uh, to the trip here just to get out and catch a couple fish and kind of tour the cabin and show you guys what we got going on. But like I said, we're gonna be here for about 10 days and we are going to be doing some awesome fishing. The salmon are running right now and the numbers of salmon in the rivers right now are absolutely insane. I got here at a perfect time and the fishing is going to be amazing. So make sure you guys stay tuned for the next videos here in Alaska. We're gonna have some great content coming up and it's going to be a lot of fun. But thank you guys for checking out today's video. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys click that like button down below the video and subscribe to the channel if you have not done that yet. And we will see you all on the next one. See ya!